Welcome back to the latest on coronavirus. We could soon see a vaccine approved for children under five years old as a new variant was found in Wisconsin and across the US. We are joined this week again by Dr. Jeff Potta from UW Health. Dr. Potta, thanks for joining us. Let's start with the Pfizer vaccine seeking approval for children under the age of five. What do you know about the vaccine for younger children? Do you think it might be available soon? Yeah, so what we know is that when Pfizer designed the study to look at efficacy for these young kids, uh, they designed a two-dose study that had a dose that was 10 times lower uh, than their previous trials. And what they found is that two-dose uh, may not provide the exact same level of protection that they saw previously. So if you remember, they added on a third dose. Uh, now, that two-dose arm is kind of mature. They have the data. They know that it's safe. Uh, it provides a reasonable amount of protection. That might be authorized. And then what I think we'll see is about a month later, authorization for a third dose uh, so that that vaccine series for those young kids is a three-dose series in the end. Got it. So the Moderna vaccine was also given full FDA approval. Uh, do you think that that kind of helps you when you counsel patients? I, I think there's a subset of patients uh, who are uncomfortable with the emergency use authorization process. They'd like to see this full authorization. Uh, and, and it does help us a bit in the sense that the full approval from the FDA is the most rigorous approval body in the world when it comes to things like medications and vaccines. Uh, and that would mean that that Moderna vaccine has gone through the same process as any of our medications, any of our vaccines that we've been using for decades. Okay, so I haven't heard about this until just now before the noon show. A new uh, coronavirus variant, Omicron variant BA2. What do you know about this new variant? Yeah, you know, it, it's a it's a subtype of Omicron. So I think it's important to realize that this is not like Delta compared to Omicron. This is like Omicron and Omicron's, you know, little brother. Uh, it has a few changes, but, you know, the reassuring thing is that even though it may be a little bit more contagious, uh, protection from vaccines seems to be identical to what Omicron was. Uh, and infection with uh, previous Omicron variants likely confers some protection against this subvariant. So uh, interesting to know that this one is out there. I don't think it's going to make a big difference uh, in our cases coming down over the next several weeks. Okay, well, at least it still works. It, it seems to still work against the vaccine. That's good. We've seen cases and hospitalizations, doctor. We're going to show you um, a full screen of how it's been trending down in Wisconsin. We have a seven day average of new cases. It's the lowest it's been since late December. So what are you seeing in hospitals right now? Do you think that we're, we're past our worst peak for this? I do think we're coming off of the Omicron peak. Uh, I think, you know, depending on hospitals and what kind of patients you take care of, you may be seeing different things. Uh, some hospitals are seeing a significant drop in the number of COVID patients that they're taking care of. Others are still having fairly high COVID patient numbers, but there's a transition happening uh, from those patients being admit admitted predominantly with symptoms of COVID-19, those respiratory symptoms, to people being admitted for other conditions uh, and then just having COVID uh, at the same time that's relatively mild. Uh, and and that still uh, taxes healthcare systems in the sense that you need those isolation rooms, uh, but they're usually not, those patients are not sick uh, as long. They're easier to take care of whatever condition they came with in and then discharge to home. All right, doctor, thank you so much for joining us. Always such a big help for us to guide us through this pandemic. A reminder, you can find expanded coverage on the pandemic, including information about where to get tested at tmj4.com coronavirus.